Hey everyone, it's Ashley. So I needed um, a little refresh on my melting basket and I didn't quite work through everything, but I was just getting a little bit sick of what I had going on. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a refresh and I wanted to walk you guys through what I picked out. So I had gotten some newer things into my collection recently. So I wanted to give some of those things a go. Um, so yeah, we are going to talk about them here today. I tried to pick like a little bit from everywhere, um, which you will see. So the first thing I picked out is this single wick candle in caramel pumpkin swirl. But here's the thing. This is actually melts as you can see. Um, and it's just enough to fit into this container. Honestly, I don't even know if they will come out. I might have to work work on making sure these come out. To me, this is just like a caramel scent. Um, but by the amount of melts that are in here, I think if I worked on one of these every single day, I'd probably be able to finish this fairly soon. So I think that is going to be my goal. Um, and even though it's called caramel pumpkin squir sw swirl, caramel pumpkin squirrel, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. that <laughs> it's been a day. Um, caramel pumpkin squirrel, I think it would be fine to use up at the current time, even though it's marketed more towards fall. Um, a big ticket item here I want to work on. So this is my brick in Jade and Jasmine. I haven't even, I want, ideally when I do bricks, I like to work on like a row at a time. I just want to work on this one in general, but I do need to slice up these two cubes because I'll probably try to use this in my open concept one day just to see how it does. Um, I'm not like an over the moon fan of this one. It was good, but considering I got my kit, I don't feel like I needed it in my club or anything. Um, but I do want to get some work on this one. And those are so big, so I definitely want to get some work on it. Um, the next one I want to work on is a value pack in vanilla caramel spice. Haven't even busted into this, uh, but as you can see, like it's brand new. <laughs> um, it's really just like a vanilla caramel type of scent. It has a little bit of like bakery cinnamon in it. So I do want to give this a test. I do want to try to like work on a bit of my value packs just because they are bigger containers. I don't want to finish it by any means, but do want to get some work on it. Um, I have a little scent cup here from the Melted Mousse and Zucchini Bread. I really wanted to try this out just because I've never tried anything with zucchini in it. And so I'm really intrigued. Um, I'll probably cut this up. I don't know if I'll go through all of this, but there's a good chance that I do just because they're not huge. And I really want to test it out. So I'm really excited. And it has like these little red, if I can get it out, it has like these red things on the bottom, which is funny because the top has nothing. <laughs> so it kind of caught me off guard because you can't really tell. So I want to try out that one. Um, also, I'm always trying to work through some of my A to Z candles. So I pulled out Scaramel Latte because I do, one, want to try and get through these, but I think, um, I think I finally officially have some hot enough warmers to like truly do these A to Z melts. They're 100% soy melts. And so I just, they don't quite, um, they just muck up some of my warmers that don't get as hot. I guess that's how I want to say it. And I figured this latte, it's like a caramel macchiato type of scent. Um, I figured it'd be a good one to start out with because I have been craving some coffee lately. So going to try that one as well. Um, also going to work on my Rose Girls apple fritter donut holes because this bag has a hole in it and I only have five little cubes left here. Um, I 100% loved this last week when I had it going, so I think it'll just be easier. Um, and it'll make me feel better with the hole and everything to just finish it off instead of like trying to rebag it and save it and all that jazz just for the purpose. Like I could finish it. Like there's no need for me to hold on to it when I could just finish it. I need to get better about 
being in that mindset. Um, okay, have some Goose Creek sugared donut. These are some used clams that I really want to finish. This one, pretty sure was in here last time, but still need to work on it. Um, also from Goose Creek Marshmallow Snow Cream. These are my last two Goose Creeks that I need to work on. Uh, Sensational's Cotton Candy Cloud. This one's super cloying, but look at how discolored. Like, look at this, and then look at this. It's like um, yellow pink and pink. It's so, even the top, even the top's discolored. Oh, it just has, it's like so much sugar. It's literally sugar. I don't even get cotton candy. It says, give me some sugar. It's literally just sugar. So I have this and I have a value pack in it. So I think I might try to do this in the bathroom or something. Um, Cause I gotta get through some of that considering I have a value pack. Also, sensational cinnamon buns. Ooh, just three cubes of this. This one's like, it's bakery cinnamon sugar, but like, I don't know. It's just not my favorite, and I don't want to really hold on to it. And then my last Aldi one is this Huntington Home Cozy Harvest. Once again, this is like, okay. It's just really fall, honestly, but I don't want to hold on to it, so gonna give it a go and then we do have a broken clam of Scentsy Quiet Grove this one's hard to open because it is broken uh, it's a little juicy because it's been in my melting basket for a while and my melting basket doesn't sit in the closet like my other wax which since I've put my wax in the closet it's been doing so much better like it hasn't been getting uh, juicy like this like clearly my heat running isn't helping this uh, but I really want to use this one up so it's in my melting basket it's juicy what do you do about it besides use it up um, cozy chai this is in my club so want to go through this only three cubes left um, autumn road trip really want to test this <laughs> have some little slivers uh, literally threw this in my club at like the last minute um, so want to test it out and considering I have another bar coming, definitely want to test it out. Uh, next we have marshmallow mint. Also look at this one. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell cause in person and on camera, they're not the same, but this one's getting like really yellow. Can you tell there maybe? I don't know. I don't think you can really tell on camera. Like you can tell in person, maybe the lid. I don't know. This one is so good to me though. It's like marshmallow and a mintiness, but not like um, astringent mint. Like it's good, like sweet mint. Um, and then it has like a, it says it has amber, which I feel like gives it like a perfuminess, but it's not like not edible. Like to me, it's edible. It's really, really good. And it really freshens up the air. I may do that one next maybe because Corey's kind of sensitive to mint so I don't know what I'll do <laughs> um I do actually have a full bar this is my only full bar I think I have in here of red pear and pomegranate I one want to test this out everywhere because I haven't yet but two this clam like it's broken here and it's broken here and here like right all along the closures are where it's busted so I want to use it up but also I think it'll be really good to test around the whole place, like to get a good feel for it, considering the month's already halfway over. I don't know, I don't love it. I don't think it's going to my club. It kind of, honestly, reminds, well, they're not same, the same smelling them next to each other, but I also, last thing I have is very blessed. This is in the winter collection, but to me this is pretty springy. It's like peach, <laughs> it's literally like peach rings. Um, so I thought maybe it would be good to like dip my toes into spring. So really like these two are like the only spring scents I have this, uh, Berry Blessed and the Red Pear and Pomegranate, but it's really been still cold here. So I don't feel like I'm quite ready to dive in. I want to get all these other ones kind of used up first, but I feel like these two will be a good start and I could finish this up 
and then easily test this out. So that is everything I have. Let me know what you guys are working on down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.